This video trigonometry part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched trigonometry part 1 to part 20. Let me introduce concept of principal solution and general solution. Principal solution is any solution between 0 and 2 pi and general solution will have all the possible solution that will be having an integer n. It will be of something this form. Let's suppose pi by 3 or theta, theta plus n pi, theta plus n pi or theta plus minus 1 to the power n, n pi, something of this form. This kind of uh, solution is called general solution. This involves all the possible solution for a given trigonometric equation. In case of principal solution, we have only those solutions which are between 0 and 2 pi. Also, Derive general solution will use the fact that the value of sin x repeats after 2 pi, the value of cos x repeats after 2 pi, and the value of tan x repeats after pi. We have done this, we have solved this, we have shown this using graphs in our earlier videos. So please watch that if you have not watched. Theorem 1 it says that for any real numbers x and y, if sin x is equal to sin y, that means x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n into y. Please note, we have to remember this. If sin x is equal to sin y, then x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n into y. Why we have got this? We can prove you as a graph. Let's suppose we have this value. For example, let's suppose we this is x. So if we draw a horizontal line here, what we see that this is also equal to this is pi minus x correct because this is x and this is pi minus x and this is 2 pi plus x all these values are equal the value of sin x sin of pi minus x and sin of 2 pi plus x are equal so if you see the pattern the pattern is something of this form n pi here we take n is equal to 1 here we take n is equal to 2. Here the sign changes, so it's minus 1 to the power n. Because n is equal to 1, this is negative, n is equal to 2 is positive. So the common formula is n pi plus minus 1 to the power n y. So thus we have seen that x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n y. So when we see this is x, this is pi minus x, and this point is 2 pi plus x. And we have seen that all these values have same y sin x sin pi minus x sin 2 pi plus x as same value thus we can say that x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power y because x and pi minus x and 2 pi plus x are all same so we, let's here n is equal to 1 here n is equal to 2 so we can write a general formula n pi plus minus 1 to the power n x. So if you see, if you say n is equal to 1, you get n pi minus x or n is equal to 1, n pi minus x. If you put n is equal to 2, you get 2 pi, sorry this is 1 pi, this is 2 pi plus x. So that's what we have proved, pi minus x is pi minus x and 2 pi plus x, two, all are same. Please remember this, x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n y for sin x. Similarly for cos, if you say cos x is equal to cos pi, that means x is equal to 2 n pi plus minus y. So to prove this, let's take a point here and we draw a horizontal line like this. So we see that this point cuts at this point and this point. So if this is x and this is 2 pi so this becomes 2 pi minus x correct because this is 2 pi whole thing is 2 pi and from there you're subtracting this much portion this becomes 2 pi minus x and if you take this portion this portion become 2 pi plus x because the symmetry here this is x this is x so this is 2 pi plus x this is 2 pi minus x so we was seen that x 2 pi plus x or 2 pi minus x all will give you same value for cos 
that is cos x is equal to cos of 2 pi plus x is equal to cos of 2 pi minus x. That's why we can say that here n is equal to 1, here n is equal to, there is, hey, there is no n, we can just give a general formula that x is equal to 2 n pi plus minus y. So you give any value of n, you have 1, then it becomes 2, 2 pi plus y and 2 pi minus y. If you give n is equal to 2, it becomes 4 pi plus y and 4 pi minus y. Let's prove theorem 3. It says if x and y are not odd multiple, spelling is wrong, it's m u l t i p l e of pi by 2, then 10x is equal to 10y implies x is equal to n pi plus y. So going by this graph, we see that if we take this value of x here, we draw a horizontal line, the point where it touches this. So if this is x, this is pi, so this is pi plus x. We can take somewhere here also, if, let's suppose this is y, we draw a horizontal line, for example, this is y, for example, it's better for us. If we take this y, so this becomes pi plus y. So thus we see that you say tan x or you say tan of pi plus x or you say tan of 2 pi plus x all are same because if you take this graph further, the point where it meets here is 2 pi plus x. If you take this way, this is minus pi plus x. Correct? So n is equal to any value, any z, any real number, any integer. So this is equal to 10x is equal to 10 pi plus x is equal to 10 2 pi plus x. So that's why we can form a general formula that x is equal to n pi plus y. Please note this should not be equal to pi by 2 because it's pi by 2, it becomes 0. It becomes infinity actually. For 10 pi by 2, it becomes infinity. So let's. Uh, let's take some problem on problem on principal and general solutions. So we are asked to find principal and general solution for sin x is equal to 1 by 2 and cos y is equal to 1 by 2. We know that sin of 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2. We know this. So that means principal solution. I am taking the case 1. This is 1. Principal solution is equal to 30 degree. 30 degree is nothing but pi by 6. Because pi is equal to 180, pi by 6 is equal to 30. Now if you want to find the general solution, we know that for sin n pi plus minus 1 to the power n theta. This is the general solution. Where theta is the principal solution. So we can say that this is got nothing but n pi plus minus 1 to the power n pi by 6. This is the general solution for case 1. For case 2, when it is cos y is equal to 1 by 2, I know that cos of 60 is equal to 1 by 2. That means theta is equal to 60 or this is also equal to pi by 3 we know because pi is equal to 180. 180 by 3 is equal to 60 degree. I can show you this pi by 6 is equal to 180 by 6 is equal to 30 degree and here pi by 3 is equal to 180 degree by 3 is equal to 60 degree. So this is the principal. Principal solution is nothing but pi by 3. To get the general solution in case of cos theta we know that general solution is 2 n pi plus minus theta. So it replacing theta with pi by 3 what we get 2 n pi plus minus pi by 3. So what we have done? We have found the principal solution in case of uh, sin theta x equal to 1 by 2 we got theta is equal to 30 degree that is pi by 6. In case of cos y is equal to 1 by 2 we got theta is equal to 60 degree that is pi by 3 and then we found principal solution. Principal solution in case of sin theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n theta and principal solution in case of 
sorry, general solution in case of cos theta is equal to 2n pi plus minus theta. In case of tan theta, it is n pi plus theta. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.